Cena's Corner, world's number one rhythm game reviewer. What's up guys, Cena here live at PAX East with my boy, my friend, John Drake, the most busiest man in harmonics. Not only does he serve his community by going all over the world promoting rock man, he's also the drummer for the main drag that you saw ripped up last night. John, how's it going? It's good, I am exhausted. Join the crowd. That's awesome. It's been a great weekend. I got a couple questions for you that I decided to bring you to the crowd directly from you. Bring it. First of all, let's just get right to the main question I had today that I didn't get a chance to ask you yeah. before, which is uh, a lot of people was concerned that followed me about remake coming out because, as you know, I put up a number of videos uh, with my discuss of the saturation of the market. Totally. Totally. So the question is, is Rock Band going to end up being that and release a bunch of games and it's not oversaturated with the community? What are we going to do? Yeah, we're pretty much planning on just ruining the good thing that we have as quickly as possible. <laughs> no, so I mean, I, I think the thing you look at is like this. We, may, unlike maybe other people in the space, we really do look at, at it as if it's like the music community, right? Where like, not everyone has to like everything, and we've been developing this, you know, with some help from friends like Denny Urge and stuff like that, so we can still make Rock Band 3 a fully featured, you know, crazy experience. And since our games are fully exportable and they're focused all on one artist, it's just like, you know, if, if the fans don't really like, if the fans really like that artist and they think that we're oversaturated the market, it's basically to them just like one big, you know, 50 song dump a DLC in one day for them. They can export the thing right into Rock Band 2, keep playing Rock Band 2. You don't like the cool venues, you don't like the cool characters, cool, DLC, hooray. Um, and we're not in the business of making, you know, crazy, stupid games, like four games every month. Uh, I think the other thing to keep in mind for us is that, uh, you know, we're trying to really, you know, we do a little bit of specialization, but with the DLC and Rock Band Network, the idea is like, Rock Band's got music. Like, I don't care how you get your music, we got music. If you want to go to the store and buy a CD, you want to buy it on iTunes, you want to get mail order from the band themselves, like, you get your music on. And we're going to bring you, like, more and more music in whatever way possible. So Green is just another way for you to get a bunch of songs all of us. Now, we see the success of Beatles. Yep. You introduced part of these in that game, which is awesome. Yes. Can you tell me in the crowd, is there a reason why harmonies were not being playable over live? Oh yeah, that's all about sync. It's all like, just like straight like how the network works. Like the lag of harmonies over multiple microphones is crazy. The other thing that's important to know is that all the microphones, while they all work locally, they're all assigned to one controller ID. So there's a certain thing we call Microsoft TCR, it's like sort of how the console works. Uh, and all of those, we can only have four sort of controllers playing at once. So even though you have seven or six people, seven people, six people, six people. you have six people playing at once, uh, you know, we can only have four controllers actually side and there's multiple microphones all sitting that one Xbox controller you're playing. So that way, you know, you can still have, you can play over a lot of parties, you just can't do it in, you can't be in multiple places, right? Yeah, that's the difference. Sorry. Well, speaking of We're only sort of superhuman, we do our best. <laughs> Speaking of Beatles, rumor has it, rumor has it that there are no more Beatles albums coming out because Harmonix is not happy with the sales that no. are happening with DLC. Can you elaborate on that for No, me? I know where that came from. That came from me. Because here's what happened. So someone said, like, how is it gonna happen with the Beatles? Like you get more records? And we were like, well, you know, we're gonna see how it goes. That was what I said. I was like, we're gonna see how it goes. Obviously we want as much music with them as possible. But it wasn't, it got then recorded as I said, like, if it sells well, we might have more music. And that's not really what I meant. What I meant is, you know. We're doing it as much as we can get from them at a time, and we had those three albums lined up with a bunch of great content. Right now, we're super focused on Green Day Rock Band, Rock Band 3, a ton of DLC, Rock Band Network. We have a lot of stuff going on. So right now, the Beatles are sort of like chilling a little bit, right? We're sort of like coasting. Those albums are great. Some of our best-selling DLC of all time. All you need is love, crazy selling track, and raise a ton of money for charity for Doctors Without Borders. But right now, I think it's like, you know, if you're if you're holding your breath with Beatles content, I'd say relax, enjoy the thousands of other songs at your disposal and, and we'll get back to you soon with hopefully some news in the future. A couple more questions for you. Yes. Harmonix has been the key of DLC in the industry. Boom. In your speculation without having to release anything, what do you think that DLC for Rock Band would be probably by the end of this year? Numerically? Numerically. Uh, if you include Rock Band Network, now I know for the folks on PS3 are weird, they're going to be mad I just said it, but if you include Rock Band Network and Disc Export, and RB3, I don't want to throw a casual number, we're like over 1,200 right now, right? I would hope we get to 2,000 by the end of the year. I know Rock Band Network is like cranking out songs, right? We're almost at 200 songs in just under a month. So, it's pretty crazy. So, I'm hoping we crack 2,000. We'll see. I mean, you know, hopefully the people keep making their own music in Rock Band Network. We have a ton of playable tracks right now. Now, I know that this morning in the conference, yes. it was stated by Dan that we can have no information about Rock Band 3. Yeah. So I'm gonna put you under the bus because you like keep getting asked. Let's see if you can share this with you. 
Can you at least tell me in the crowd who's watching if songs from Rock Band 1 and Rock Band 2 will be exportable to Rock Band 3? Here's what I'll say to you. So every title we've put out, we've done everything within our power to make sure that all the tracks you own, like your music library, move seamlessly in the next game with the feature set that was built into that stuff, right? So like newer, crazier features might not make it over, but like, you know, the solid gameplay you already have, that comes with you. We haven't announced exportability for Rockman 2. Obviously, it's not like you know baked in the game in terms of like there's no menu for it. That would be kind of a giveaway. Uh, <laughs> but certainly, you can expect that like your DLC is going to be compatible. We're gonna you know we're gonna work double overtime to get all those songs that you love into RB3, and we'll be making some really really clear announcements about that as we get closer to E3. But I think you can rest assured if you spend thousands of dollars on DLC, we're not going to be like cool. Here's Rockman 3. Say goodbye to all your content. Like that's not how we roll. We, we have a music library that's all the way. Through. Cool, man. Well, thanks for your time, John. Of course. Thanks for There you guys have it right from the man, John Drake himself. Keep your eye on my channel for E3 news pre and after I get there. Maybe I catch you with John again at E3 and we can have a further chat about Rock Band 3. Until next time, guys. Peace, love. Keep rocking out. Catch you guys next time.